Murray said something interesting the other day. He said, why not us? In other words, a lot of people are talking about the Saints team heading into this game. Why not us? And what does that say about this team if you could beat them? Is that a mentality that's sort of shared in the locker room right now? Yeah, I mean, this, as you said, this team is very confident. Uh, from offense, defense, the teams, we're confident in, uh, in ourselves individually and what we do collectively uh, as a group and as units. Um, so... We don't lack in that. Uh, we just worry about doing everything that we can during the, during the week to prepare ourselves and give ourselves the best chance to go out there and play with that confidence and play loose on Sunday, uh, knowing that we'll get the job done. What do you admire about uh, Everything. Uh, just the way he plays the game, way he prepares. Uh, you look at his numbers, you look at his production in this league. Uh, he's simply one of the best. Um, growing up in Louisiana, obviously watching the Saints, uh, he's somebody that I've paid attention to a long, long time. I uh, was fortunate to be in the Pro Bowl with him uh, at 16. So, I mean, he's a guy that, that I look up to, and uh, he's a great player. What about his longevity? Yeah, I mean, as I say, he's a pro. Uh, he's taking care of his body, done, done, uh, has done all the right things, especially uh, facing adversity, facing the middle of his career. Some people saying he wouldn't um, do, do what he's done now. Uh, just speaks to just speaks to the character of that guy and just who he is. When you're in that Pro Bowl, do you try to pick his brain at all? Yeah, uh, when you, you do everything you can. You're like the little duckling. You just follow Drew Brees and figure out what he does, how he does stuff. Uh, and um, I was thankful to have him. And, and, and Drew, Drew opened up and, and shared things with me. We, we talked about a lot of conversation. Uh, and actually, we stay in touch, so, yeah. Were you ever Drew Brees? I was saying like a duckling. I'm not a duckling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, he's, he's a great quarterback. As, a, as I... Uh, as Tavon Austin. Uh, yeah, I mean, of course, he's, he's a great player. Have you ever seen a guy do the pregame warm-ups like Drew? I've never seen a more methodical quarterback, so I'm curious if you've seen a guy like that having done the Pro Bowl with him. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't know if there's anyone that prepares the way he does, physically, mentally. Uh, and it's obviously, as I said, it's credit to, to his career and his production. What's the energy this can get from Zeke when he's running away? One more time. What's the energy you guys get from Zeke when he's running the way he is? Oh, I mean, tons of energy, tons of confidence. Uh, because when he's running the way he is, he's breaking tackles. Um, we know that it, has, it involves everybody. It involves the offensive line doing their job, the receivers blocking downfield, and everybody's bought in. Everybody wants to see us all, uh, each other succeed. And that's when you have that, you have a good team. Are you making a few concerted effort to protect the ball? I mean, I mean, I... I mean, I go in, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I go in, in every game trying to protect the ball, uh, to try to do my best. I mean, to say it's more conservative than uh, than the past few, few weeks, I wouldn't necessarily say so. Not conservative, but more conservative. I mean, just being focused on, you know, I'm not going to... Yeah, I mean, as long as we, we keep the ball, we possess the ball, we don't give it to them in turnovers, we end, end the drives and kicks, we give ourselves a great chance to win. You're the third down. Louisiana guy, but you grew up a Cowboys fan. Just what's the dynamic of this matchup, and especially coming back home? Yeah, I mean, tons of family, friends that are big Saints fans. Uh, but now that I'm a Cowboy, they better not be Saints fans. So uh, I'm not really worried about that.